Terry Ashwin, the inventor of the Link system, who has been at the leading edge of technology design and development for more than 15 years, explains the concept. Well, the Link system is simplistically um, a replacement for your cable uh, system running from your PC to your printer. Um, the product is uh, a, a very simple to use. Um, it's so-called term plug-and-play system, where instead of having your standard uh, cable running from your PC to your printer, you can now plug in a small little box, so-called, into your PC and one into your printer, and you can remove the two from one another. And um, you can put your printer anywhere up to 30 meters away from your PC on a global basis. What we find is that the users like to put the printers in a central part with all their stationery, etc. And it's all together um, so that everybody can use those printers. Other users can also plug in PC units and share that printer. From a technical aspect, how does the radio transmission system work? The free bands um, in our country and in America are very broad and very open and the um, system operates quite freely within those free bands. In RF, it's working at the same frequencies and, and we deliberately chose this frequency as your little car alarm systems, etc. So that nobody could block that frequency and that's why you have what's so called a free band. It's actually um, um, sending information through the, through the air using RF is far cleaner than it is doing it through cables. Cables, being copper, have a tendency to pick up from other copper conductors, electrical conductors. We find that we send through the information um, error-free, obviously, because it's checked, but with very few repeats of the block. Well, I think, you know, in general, we're a very inventive um, company, and one of our major future ambitions are to um, utilize a technology in as many, in inventive roles, not only just applicational roles as possible, and come up with new concepts for the actual technology. And some of these are, um, first of all, we have a cordless mouse, um, which we'll be launching, which simplistically we are making into a ultrasonic mouse, reason being that um, the ultrasonic doesn't interfere with the RF, so you've got an ultrasonic mouse. Um, and then we're also doing a infrared keyboard so that a, um, the keyboard would also be wireless to the actual PC. So you'd be sitting along with your wireless mouse and you could draw, etc., your wireless keyboard. And then, of course, we're also excited about the fact that we're going to have a, um, a small electronic diary, which um, are going to do time management so that you can time manage um, uh, work spent on various activities. This little uh, time management tool would offer a automatic link to the PC, no plugging in, nothing. As the, as the man returns to the office, all the information will be transferred, as well as information for him, memos, telephone calls, will all be put into his little uh, electronic diary without him having to have, as you can see, our electronic diary doesn't have a keyboard because you don't need one. It's all typed on the keyboard by your secretary and put inside for you. As well as onto the actual um, diary management systems, we've also incorporated a um, RF system that would incorporate onto your diary a barcode reader that when powered up, you can do barcode reading for your various entries, like I was saying. So we're getting away from these little keyboard and keyboard mode entry um, activities, which is, which is such a hassle. And we're hoping one day that all business cards are going to be printed with the barcode of your address, etc., on the back of them, and we'd simply, uh, you would give me your, your business card, I'd take out my little time management system and I'd just run it across the back of the card and it would all be in my database. As I walk into my office, from my pocket into my PC, and everything's updated.